I'm going to show you what armors you should be using in Dark Ops patch 14 level wise. Now you can use the timestamps to skip to the current level to find out what's the best choice available to you. Let's begin. If you have level 1 traders then you don't really have a lot of choices. The only option available is the Parka which is a level 2 armor costing around 29k rubles. This only protects your thorax and not your stomach and has no armor plates, only built-in armor. This will only protect you against calves with pistol or shotgun rounds. My advice will be to purchase this if you are at level 1 traders, ensure and you'll find better armors on scav in your raids. Drop this, use those armors instead. Now if you find yourself a propane tank in raid, definitely pick that up because this gives you access to the best level 1 option available which is the 6P23 from Frapper level 1. This is a level 3 armor and has armor plates. This also gives level 2 protection for your neck and stomach. Note you don't get back protection with this armor. For helmets your only available option is the SSH helmet which is a level 3 helmet which will cost you around 29k ruble. Again ensure your helmet throw it if you find something better. Once you have flea unlocked you have a wide variety of options available. Now level 5 and level 6 armor plates are not available on flea so your best option is going to be level 4 armors. The armors found most commonly on scavs are the best and the cheapest option you will find on flea. Starting with the Yule armor rig, you can get a level 4 armor with 10 slots for around 50k ruble. The best thing is you don't have to worry about someone selling these without plates because they don't have plates. Also a thing to note that here is that stomach protection from front on this is level 4 which you usually don't see anywhere else. And the neck protection is only level 2. If you want armor only then get the 6v13. Now here you have to check if the armor plates are being sold with the armor or not. The total HP of the armor should be 203. Also sometimes these are trading cheap for around 50 to 60k rubles. For helmet your best choice is going to be the TC2001 and TC2002. These are overlooked on the flea and are available for around 40k rubles. Now there are level 4 helmet available at the price of other level 3 helmets like the 6b47 Ratnik. Moving to level 2 traders, this is where things start getting interesting. The best available armor at level 2 trader is going to be the Thor armor. Now this is the only level 4 armor which has level 3 built in armor. This means that there is a slight chance that a bullet that pens your plate is going to be stopped by the level 3 built in armor. The downside is it does not protect your throat and your stomach. Now this is a barter only armor so you can only purchase 2 per ragman reset. Based on the price of slim diary you can get 1 for around 60 to 70k rubles. Now note that the Thor is locked behind quest and that is database part 1. Now if you don't care about the built in armor being level 3 or you don't have this unlocked yet then Karasa is the next best choice. What you need to do is purchase the Karasa for around 50k rubles from Ragman and then go to Flea and purchase a monoclate level 3 plate for around 20 to 30k rubles, which is a level 4 plate. Swap the front plate so you get a level 4 front and level 3 back and level 2 built in armors which also protect your neck for around 70k rubles. You can do the same trick with Thor armor if you want, spend extra 20k rubles, swap the original plate with these. What you get is a 4.4kg armor instead of a 10.4kg armor. Now this does lose a little bit of armor points, but being 6kg light can make a huge difference with the same level of protection. You can sell the original plates back to Ragman for around 20k rubles. For helmet still the best choice is the TC2001 and TC2002 which are available on flea for cheap. You do get a barter for the 6B47 Ratnik, sometimes the bleach is trading less than 10k and I think this helmet is worth it under 20k rubles. Moving to level 3 traders the best choice is still going to be the Thor and Kirasa as shown for the level 2 traders but there is a new cheap option available. This is the cheapest level 4 armor that you can purchase. You can get the press armor from level 1 skier barter which sometimes can cost you as low as 20k rubles depending on the fleet prices. What you do is from level 3 frapper you get level 4 plate for around 16k rubles. Resell the plate for around 6k rubles. Now what you have is a level 4 front and level 3 back press armor. Sometimes you can get this as low as 30k rubles. I think this is a steel deal at that price. Also this is going to come back every single time in your insurance. For helmet if you need ice protection then there is a new helmet that you can use at level 3 traders that is the Tor 2 helmet which is a level 3 helmet with level 3 eyes, jaws and face protection. 
The total cost of this is 93k rubles. Do note that you can use some headsets with this also. Otherwise, still go with the TC2001 and TC2002 which are the best value for money choice. For level 4 traders, now you have access to the best armor currently in the game and that is going to be the Osprey Protection. This is a level 5 armor that also protects your shoulders with built-in armor that is level 3 and your sides which are level 5 protection. Now the downside of this armor is its weight. This thing does get really heavy with 15.9 kg. But the good thing is currently it's available for cheap for a barter of 3 SAS drives. SAS drives are somewhere from 50 to 60k on free which makes the total cost of this thing at around 180k rubles. Which is the same price Frapper is selling Kuron for. I think this is definitely a better choice than Kuron. By the time most of us have level 4 traders, every PMC is running with bullets that pen level 3 armors. So you can lose that weight and go for a second option available that is the Defender 2, which is available for a barter of a Sledgehammer. This is extremely good deal for 100k rubles which is the current price of Sledgehammer. Why would you get anything else? The weight of the armor is only 11.5 kg, the downside is the side protection is only level 3. Now according to me, the price of these two options are going to increase as the wipe progresses and they might not be this cheap later on. So the third option that can come in handy is purchase the Karasa from level 2 Rackman for around 50k rubles, get the Cult Locust Ballistic Plate from level 4 Skier. This would cost you around 110k rubles, again the price of this will increase but not as much as other barters. What you have is a budget level 5 front plate with level 3 back protection and level 2 built in armors. For helmet, the best available choice is the Bastion helmet you can purchase from level 3 Ragman and get the Bastion plate from level 4 Ragman which is a barter of 2 eggs. Currently the eggs are available on free for around 40k rubles so this barter will cost you around 140k which is extremely cheap for this helmet. The Bastion plate is level 6 protection which only protects the top of your head. The other best options are locked behind Lightkeeper quest and if you have them unlocked then the Atomic Defense Ballistic Mask is going to be the best available choice. For 83k rubles you get a level 4 face protection. Does not have any visual interference like the face shield or the breathing effect. I don't think you need anything other than this if you have it unlocked. I hope this was informative and useful, do make sure to like the video for the algorithm and do subscribe for more Tarkov guides. I do live stream on Twitch every day so if you want to hang out drop me a follow on there as well. Until next time.